All right, your challenge awaits. Can you fulfill that solo challenge? Time to find out. It is indeed the solo challenge, and it's Madden Ultimate Team time. The veteran kicker, Robbie Gold, set to get us started. And we are underway from Ford Field. On the return now, here's Keyshawn Martin. And look at this. Right away, a loose football. And the Raiders pick it up. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. As that ball got away from him, and he saw the opposing team recover it. You felt his pain? Oh, I felt his pain, and you know what was going through his head. Tuck it away. Take care of the ball. All the things he hears all week in practice, he didn't carry it over into the game. And now the offense getting set first and ten. They'll run it with Jackson. And a good run as he manages seven yards down to the 17. That run right there was an offensive line coach's dream, wasn't it? Guys picked up all their assignments, created a nice gap for the running back to get through. Pick up seven yards. Yeah, he's probably chortling on the headset right now saying, we got it going, boys. Let's keep it going. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. Like if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit. And he fights his way into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. A great effort there. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Raiders have taken the early lead. I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking, the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. Add in a little bit of athleticism and a whole lot of toughness, you've got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's why the guys in the backfield get them really nice Christmas gifts, right? If they're smart, they do. On the return, here comes Amir Abdullah. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. First down throw, Stafford. And oh, right away, he lost the football. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. Now, I have to admit, partner, that I've often thought that I don't like this rule where the offensive player fumbles the ball, it goes out of bounds, and they get to keep it. <laughs> that's just because you're a defensive guy. That's why you don't like it. Yeah, you're right. It is a slanted view, isn't it? But that's this is where, for the offensive team, the sideline is their friend. Usually it's not their friend. Yeah, exactly right. I actually played for a guy in college. You know what he used to name the sideline? Sammy. Sammy sideline and use him well. Third and two, Stafford. It's caught. Jones. A pickup of five that time and a first down. Now, Charles, what's the mindset here offensively? You gave up the touchdown pretty quickly. Would it have changed if you had gotten a stop and it would be 0-0 right now or no? I wouldn't think so. I think in most cases... Now Jones is hit. He lost the football. And the Raiders pick it up. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. And now Oakland ready to take the field. They have to be thrilled with that first drive that got them the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two-score advantage here on the road. And you know they spent all week in practice, in meetings, talking about taking an early advantage. Being the road team, going up a score, that takes the crowd out of the game and puts some doubt in the minds of their opponents. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. Kidd had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 14 yards is the pickup there at a Raider first. 
Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from Ready to go now in the second quarter. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis. It's the Raiders in possession of the football. And they've got it here with a first down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Well, that play was doomed right from the start. He just about ran into every defender on that one, didn't he? It felt like everyone got a piece of that tackle. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And only able to muster a couple down to about the 27. I once had a defensive player in the NFL tell me, if I beat and dominate the guy across from me, I'm helping my team. Well, winning one-on-one -on -one battles is always a part of the game. But when you have good team defense, as we just saw there, one broken tackle, but he didn't get away because the rest of the guys arrived to put him on the ground. It's a gain of five, but it'll lead to a fourth down. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We'll come back to Ford Field after this. And no move to get the offense off the field. They're going on fourth and five. Working out of the gun, Bradford. And it's caught by Parker. The decision to go for it pays off, and now they're set up first and goal. Well, the field goal attempt was well in hand. They had that, but they decided to go for it anyway. Extreme confidence, it looks like. Yeah, but I bet the defense is going to remember this one, right? They kind of rubbed their nose in it. touchdown here in this first half and the Raiders add on to their lead and always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice and it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on just think about halftime if, if that's is all he gets he'll just sit there at the half and think all right two already I can get some more I can get some more and he'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space And it's good to make it 14-0. Gold now out to kick it away. This will be fielded at the 6. <laughs> and he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. And Detroit getting set to go now. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. Stafford throwing the out route incomplete. It's Jones, and the Raiders pick it up. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return for six and a Raider touchdown. This first half has been a nightmare for that offense. Defense just dominating them. And when you're picking up the ball, picking up their mistakes, and taking it the other way and putting it in the end zone, that's a defense's dream. They're having that type of a game. Everything that can go wrong has gone wrong for this offensive unit. Oh, 
Gold to add the extra point. And it is now 21 to nothing. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. This one taken just inside the 10. And he'll be knocked down sideways. The Lions offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. On first down, Stafford here. Ebron caught left side. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. To throw on second down to Stafford. Pass incomplete. He was trying to find Marvin Jones that time. And it's third down. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. And that is incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they've looked lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. And here now the putter, Martin, booming this one away. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. Oh, and now he bowls him over. I know there's no magnet in the ball, but sometimes for the punt returner, after such a scramble, it sort of feels that way, doesn't it? He has it, he loses it. Somehow, the ball finds its way back to him. But atone for his sin, and you know he's taking a deep sigh of relief right now. Now it's Jackson. Room here to run. And he'll running right through it. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. That burst good for 20 and a first down. They run again with Jackson. And this will go as a short gain on what will be the final act of this first half. And pump the brakes, Larry. Pump the brakes. We are ready for quarter number three. This one fielded at the five. And he'll have good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. Out comes the Raiders offense. They'll go on offense first to start quarter number three. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Play clock winding down. On the ground, this is Jackson. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Well, at least he was able to break that initial contact, or it could have been a loss. Yeah, give credit to the defensive player, though. What did he do? Made him slow down, slow up his feet, and allowed the rest of the guys to get there to finish him off. On third down, it's Jackson. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop him. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. 
third quarter and you've got the lead, you're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out but a running game can really benefit your team right now. They'll run it now, out of the gun. He takes it down to the 42, a five-yard run. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. On third down, that's Jackson. They get six on the pick up there as the drive will continue. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. Back now at Ford Field. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Time for a break. Back to finish it off on EA Sports after this. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. They'll run it now out of the gun. A pickup of 10, and it's enough for an Oakland first down. I think this defense tired of seeing him run the football, and this D-line probably getting sick of the O-line as well. And as I'm watching this, I'm thinking about a conversation I had with Adam Gase, the head coach of the Miami Dolphins in the offseason. He told me that he asked his running backs, each week for their favorite runs. Give me your three top runs. And right now, you're seeing a guy that's probably using his top runs to great advantage in this game. He is in a zone. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Just a gain of a yard, but it's going to set him up with a first and goal. Starting to look like this drive, it may be the final nail in the coffin. Well, this is why you work out so hard, right? This is why you spend all that time in the offseason. This is why you have those OTAs and mini camps. For these situations, these scenarios, to run someone into the ground, and secure a victory. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Offense looks to punch it in here from the one on second and goal. And he takes it in for the score on the game's final play, so it doesn't affect the outcome, but a little whipped cream on top to their ending. Or as our friends in Bayou Country would say, that's a little land yap, a little extra on top. And he's got it up and through. And that does it for this Madden Ultimate Team Solo Challenge. You did it. You defeated it. Congratulations. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos, follow me on social media, and once again, thanks for watching.